All right, guys, welcome back to another We Play. This time we're playing Starbound. It's been a really, really long time since I played Starbound. Um, since the uh, 1.0 update, actually, the uh, release out of early access. And a lot of things have changed since then. I mean, a whole lot has changed. <clears throat> so, me and Miss Morgan got together and decided, hey, why not? Let's go take a look at Starbound again. We had a lot of fun during the early access points of this game, and they've added a lot of new content since then, so it's hopefully true. we'll have some fun playing again. Mm -hmm. We uh, we enjoyed this game quite a bit, and uh, we played it all through early access off and on, and, uh, and you know, we, we've really enjoyed it, so we wanted to... Uh, hey, look, lights. <laughs> <laughs> I talked I to something. I just mine a minute ago, yeah. yeah. All right, so there's, there's some things in here that I need. I need uh, the flashlight. I need the torches for sure. Don't forget to accept your quest there at the uh, the computer. Yes. Now we are playing in casual mode, so we don't have to worry too much about uh, having to deal with constantly eating and things like that. Thought that might be a little bit easier for recording purposes. But there are a couple of different difficulties. There's um, survival mode, which you have to uh, keep up with your food and all that kind of stuff, and you have to um, uh, fetch all your items again when you die. Uh, casual allows you to keep your items when you die. Um, you do lose some cash, things like that. Uh, explore planet. All right, so, so we're already grouped, I think. Yes. I'm going to beam to your ship. If you're well, grouped, right. you can beam to each other's ships. And your ship is dependent upon your race. Um, True. You are playing what we refer to the fish people. I think they're the Hyatals. Yeah, they're uh, they're very Asian influenced. You'll see by their structures if we ever run into one. Um, each race kind of has their own their own thing. Like the uh, the robots. Uh, I forget exactly what they're they're called. Uh, glitches. Yeah. Um, they're medieval castles and things like that. Very cool. There's a lot of different varieties. I'm a Nova kid, which is kind of steampunky. Um, yeah, steampunk, western Wild West, yeah, weirdness. Along those lines. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's uh, apexes, and those are like little monkey people. Those are monkey people. They have like futuristic stuff. Stuff. Uh, the humans are kind of you know run down and well human. Which way are we going? This way. Uh, let's go this way. Yeah. We're gonna look around the planet, see what's here. Grab some. I picked a Usually we would go something. separate directions, but since we're recording for you all. Yeah, we'll go the we'll go the same way. Oh, this is super handy. Well, that is handy. Oh wait, I think this is part of the new intro quest thing. I think the first. Oh, we're supposed to be. Yeah, here. that's right. Yeah, we don't need that right now, though. We don't have the fragments. Got to hunt down core fragments for that. So we'll do that here in a bit. Uh, hey, wood. Basically, they worked out this, um, you have a quest system, you search for higher level items, and then when you get to higher level items, you can defeat a boss, and then you can go to the next level of planets. Mm-hmm. Which will have better, cooler stuff, possibly. In theory. <laughs> now, I know that they've been, they've, uh, done a lot of stuff with, attack. ow, with the navigation system. And uh, they've modified a lot of things in that respect. I know that they've changed uh, the way you view your planets. So you can see a lot more stats about them. Well, that's nice. Weather conditions and all kinds of other crazy stuff. You um, need, um, at least you used to need, like, little suits to wear for cold or heat or radiation, things like that. Yeah. I'm not sure if that's still in play, but I think it is. To, to some extent, anyway. I know there are, there are, like, mechs now, too. Like, you can get a, like, this giant mechanized robot and fly around it and stuff. So that'll be cool. I know there are shuttles as well. Uh, one of the other things that they're working on right now that they actually just released a little blog info about the other day um, was... Uh, You're not picking up any of this stuff. I am. I am. <laughs> I'm picking up things. I just picked up some, some rice or something. Oh, I don't have double jump yet. It's so sad. I can yeah. only jump so high. Yeah. You, you can unlock 
um, like tech skills later on in the the game, and you can do things like jump much higher and things. It's very sad when you can only jump a teeny tiny little bit. Yeah, and my matter manipulator sucks right now. Yeah, it also get the little tool that you use to pick things up. It's called your matter manipulator. Um, essentially, your pickaxe. Yeah, and then um, some. Yeah, but uh, it's a. Uh, you can improve it, which is good because it's slow. Sorry, ah. I just took out the blocks underneath you. Yeah, I'm. You're not. You're not digging up. <laughs> I'm digging in a slant. I'm digging it on purpose so we can okay. get to the top. Yeah, I figured. Man, I've got to turn that music down. Yeah, it's kind of loud. I why turned do, mine why down do they put already. so much loud music in the background of games? I don't know. Are there people that like that? Like uh, to be deaf probably. while they play video games? <clears throat> um, but yeah, uh, I was talking about something. Good grief. Matter manipulators. Before that. And then I started making you fall down holes. Uh, yeah. What? <laughs> I don't remember. I don't remember. It's fine. There are resources, like, we're picking up coal and iron and whatnot. Yeah, you know, torches are useful. I think we can probably, might be able to, I have no luck with these things. Oops, I knocked that one out. <laughs> Oops. Oh, uh, the spinners? So, yeah. <laughs> so these things are like little buff machines, basically. So you get a random buff every time you hit one. Um... Hey, that was a good one. That one was actually worthwhile. Usually they're terrible. Usually they try and kill me. Yeah, they sometimes you like light light you on fire, and there's a big old hole over here. Yeah. I'm gonna um. We should probably go up. I'm going to get some dirt out on my bar so I can. Hey, flashlight. Hey, there's a there's oh no. It's not too bad if we, yeah, if, there we go. If we can get across this, it looks like it opens back up again. There we go. And you can pick up most everything in this game, except for there are essentially dungeons, I don't know what else to call them, where you have to kind of defeat the the people inside before you can... Yeah, like there's a... There's a steal their stuff. A boss um, or something of that nature, and there's <laughs> a... Um, I'm afraid of this heal. There's typically fall. a power generator that you can turn off, and once you turn it off, you can then take stuff out of the hey, dungeon. Hey, I got a health buff out of that spinner. Maybe the spinners on the um, starter point. worlds are a little bit nicer. Here's a gravestone. That's always nice to see on your on your home planet. Mm. Um, usually the way this works is we start here uh, on this planet, and then we will shift to another one. I think we're going to have to start digging down. Yeah, I'm not quite sure if we've gone all the way around yet or not. Mm, I'm not sure either. We should have made a... Something, it, yeah. Yeah, often we, I'll put like a stack of dirt that's abnormal looking. Make a T-shape or something at the place where you beam down. That way you know that you've made it all the way around the world. I cannot get up that yeah. hill to save my you life. You can... Uh, uh, like we were saying, you can't walk all the way around the world. Uh, all the worlds have different things on them and different environments. They're all procedural generated, so you never know what you're going to end up with. Um, there also are what they call, I believe, mini biomes that are underneath the ground. Uh, when you're digging around, you may run into, you know, a weird biome or something down there. And the the monsters get more plentiful and more dangerous as you move up and... I can't get up this hill. I know, I was having trouble too. Okay. I'm out of dirt. That you have some work mud though. Hang on, I got some. That should work. I don't yeah. know why there are so many different colors of dirt in this game. Hey, there's potatoes. Yeah, that's what you get for procedural generation. And some variety. Even dirt variety. The only annoying thing is then they don't stack in your inventory and you have like 85 stacks of dirt. Yeah. Apparently we have not all been all the way around yet because there's still spots we cannot get up. Oh. Hmm. It's getting dark too. 
Dark time is dangerous time. The monsters and things come out. You're cutting down a tree. I'm doing it on purpose. Oh, okay. Just thought, checking. Thought maybe we would like a little <laughs> bit of wood. So unfortunately, I do not have a sleeping bag yet. I'm stuck. I don't either. So let's build a lot here. How do you feel about this spot? It's pretty level. Um, actually, you know what? Watch out. <laughs> I do not have my sword out. That's alright. You saved me. It's fine. <laughs> uh, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bean back. Bean. I'm going to bean back. I'm going to bean back up to the ship and then beam down again. And that should put me at the beam down spot. Okay. And then we can build a hut. Alright. It's always handy to kind of build right around the beam down spot. Because you kind of beam down right on top of your house. It's handy. I'm there. This is a terrible place. What to be happened? Beam down to. My game crashed. Uh, you've been disconnected. <laughs> uh, all right, guys, hang on just a second. We're gonna get things back in order. All right, guys, sorry about that. We're back. Hello. Somebody's digging underneath me again. I'm making a level spot to build a house. <laughs> I was like, I'm falling. Um, we had a slight disconnection issue. We found a bug. So, apparently, as party leader, you have the ability to beam to the other player's ship. But she was clicking on it, and, uh, it was crashing her game completely. So, that was unfortunate. It was. But, uh, you know, we worked it out. We're... we're back together again. She's not going to try and be in my ship anymore oh, that way. Oh, are you going all the way down to the level? I was just going to make it level. But that's fine. Oh, I figured, well, I figured we'd probably need more room than that. Yeah, eventually. So, we may as well just knock it down. I say we leave this dirt wall for now. In the back. That way you're, we won't you're knocking into a, into a cave. I know. I'm going to have to adjust. Oh, okay. That help? <laughs> yeah, it actually it does. All right. <clears throat> All right. So let's go ahead and um, I'm gonna put this up here. That'll help a little bit. And then we probably need to look at leveling this out. Yeah, maybe add a little bit over that direction. Yeah. Ah. Hey, that, no, stop. Yeah. Making friends. At least it's getting to be daylight. Yeah. There we go. All right. We pretty <laughs> much always build a little hut, at least on this first world, because you need somewhere to call home. Pretty much. Something temporary, and then typically what we do is we go out and find a fancy little area or structure that we want to be in, and we, uh... Well, we kill everybody inside and then take it over. <laughs> <laughs> There's really no. You can no... build your own structures. Um... Yeah, and there are there are planets out there that are specifically built to build on. Um, they're big, vast, just completely empty, completely flat planets, so you can build whatever you want. But for a good place to start, we usually kind of take over some somewhere and just kind of go from there. Find a building we like and scavenge. Uh, all right. We've gone so far as to actually move a large structure. That's a pain in the butt. Yeah, we moved an entire glitch castle one day and reassembled it back the way it was. That was a giant pain in the butt. <laughs> I wouldn't say we did it in one day. It was more like a no, two-week project. But. Yeah, it was It was complicated, and if you can avoid it, I would recommend not, uh, not trying that it. That was before they... Um, did the teleport system? Yeah. So it was a bit more complicated to to travel to another planet. Yeah, it was still pretty early in the uh, in the early access, and we were like, "Man, we can't." Um, I need to be just a little bit higher to reach. Too I'm short. gonna work on a roof, Oops, but it's not gonna be straight. <laughs> I'm gonna level the ground out here. I'm just going to do a dirt roof for now because i got a lot of dirt. Yeah, it's fine. We can always upgrade it or change it later. 
And um, you, there are two planes basically. You have a front plane and a back plane. As you see, we kind of have a back wall. Yeah, I'm gonna close this off back here because you can take my little dirt block out of the way oh, okay. so you can well, walk. Under. Or did you close it off already? I did. Oh, okay, cool. It's it's a little messy, but you know, whatever. A few torches in there. I have some wood. It's all right. I know you can do something with wood, but I've forgotten what. Uh, things. You can turn it like into planks, somehow. I, I forgot how. Also, too short. <laughs> Yeah, I made the ceiling a little too high. <laughs> this will work for now. Yeah, we need to get a door. Yeah. One thing to be aware of, uh, mm. the rain water, if you leave a hole, it will fill with water. <laughs> yeah. So FYI, so will your house. You will be standing in a pool um, of water. Yeah. Uh, I don't know... Or drowning before you or get drowning. to yeah. the breathing. There is an ability to breathe underwater in this game, but you don't start with it. Uh, door? Is there a door? There's a, I, don't uh, I think where I need the to build. Crafting stuff is at. <laughs> we need to build a crafting table, but yeah. I don't. Yeah, uh, I got it here. Hang on a second. Let me. I have to build some timber first, and then I can build the table. Oh yes, it's over here on the side. I got it. Got it. Crafting. I'm already making one. I'm gonna make campfire. Oh, okay. There's a cooking system in this game. There is. And it's you, actually really extensive. Yeah, when you um when you unlock when you find new foods and new plants on the ground, you can unlock recipes with them. And you can even... Is there a reason we have a torch, like, way up high in the air? Well, I don't know. That's where it ended <laughs> up. Let me rearrange my... My stuff's kind of chaotic here on my bar. <laughs> Organize a bit. Also, I'm trying to figure out why that one torch is not burning. Did you turn it off? Well, possibly. <laughs> yep, it's back on. So, yes. It could have been me. I don't know. Might have been me, too. Whatever. If you walk up to a torch or a campfire and hit E, it will turn the turn it off. You can cook on, on at the uh, cook at the campfire too. Hey, Forging look at table. that! We got an inventor's table. We do. We're fancy. We can now have stuff. Stuff. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna craft a. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna craft a wooden bench, a uh, workbench. Okay. And then I think that'll let us make a door. It's possible. <laughs> uh, there is also another thing that you can do in this game. You can build an entire settlement. Like, you can have people that move into your settlement and stuff. It's pretty cool. Like, shopkeepers and things. Okay, wood door. I need more timber. Timber! Alright, bad jokes. I have a song stuck in my head. What? The Timber song. I don't, I don't believe I'm familiar with that one. <laughs> I'm not going to sing for these people because they don't need that. They, they don't want to hear that. <clears throat> uh, let's door. Oh, our building is too, too tall. And now it stopped raining just in time for us to actually have a door. Now your building's not tall enough. I think it was about right before. Uh, maybe. I can get the door to fit, though. Maybe I'm just not close enough to it. Is that what the problem is? Yep. No. What up here? Now it looks like it'll go. No. Oh. Here, do you need some dirt? Do we have this problem before? I think at some point they changed what... I don't... Uh, well, okay, put it down. Try it. But I don't think it's gonna... Yeah. Maybe it has to be connected to, like, can you wood? Get, can you give me a little more... A little more dirt. There, there you go. go. Has yeah. to be just perfect. Yeah. Uh, Seal the cracks around our door. Yeah. There's also, also there's some. A hole in our some ceiling. Oops. Some, yeah. There you go. 
Let's go for that space. But yeah, so there's a, there's a whole cooking system here. Like you can make popcorn and all kinds of other crazy junk. <laughs> and then when you make stuff, it it opens up recipes for other things. So like baked potato. So if I do this, there we go. And now it opened up something else. I've made some boiled rice. And like we can do a chicken. We have some some chicken. Oh, I didn't get any chicken. You must. I I got it off that bird. bird I killed. And then boiled rice. There's a lot of recipes in this game. I'm pretty sure we've never unlocked them all. Pearl peas. Now I have pearl pea broth. Mm. Not pearl pea breath. That's different. But the food you can eat, it'll restore like your energy and things like that. Yeah, it'll make you heal faster too, I think. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think the more complex the recipe is, the more you get out of it. I don't know. And I think food does spoil after a while. I don't know. Maybe not. I think possibly. I don't think the canned food does, but. Yeah. All right. Let's see what else we got here. Um, foraging table. That's your. That's one of your cooking tables. It says huh? with a full stomach, your body will slowly regenerate and heal. So there you go. Indeed. I can't build an anvil yet. Can I build a primitive forge? Not really. I need cobblestone and a campfire. Can you build a trap door? Uh, maybe. Because I'm thinking about going down here somewhere. Uh, wooden I, gate. I, I can build a hatch. Is that the same yeah, thing? Yeah, I as think a trap that's door? what you're looking for. Let me. Uh, I need some more timber. If I remember correctly, there are ladders too. No, I'm just gonna make all this into timber because we're yeah. using it. Um, hey, there's something <clears throat> down here already. I need some cobblestone. If you find some cobblestone, I found a crate, which I'm going to steal. Okay, crates are good. It also had fifty uh, pixels in it. Oh, nice! So pixels is your cash currency. By the way, in case you're wondering what pixels are. There's something down here that wants to eat me. Oh, yeah. No, yeah, it wants probably. to shoot me with a poison dart. Um, I hope you're okay, because I can't help I you. I am. <laughs> I killed him. I'm trying to figure out how to make this hatch fit. I need some more torches. Soon. There we go. All right, we have a hatch. Found a little... Oh, oh it's the platforms that you're looking for. The wooden platforms. I remember now. No, I, I built see the uh, hatch is what I was looking for. Oh, okay. But we'll platforms will, will are what we use as ladders, essentially. I need to make some more torches. Did you go a different direction? I did. I went to no the other No one will ever see what I'm doing. To the other way. What? I said no one will ever see what I am doing. I'll just have to describe it to them. Yeah. Fix really, that. both people going down the same hole is a bad idea. Yeah, it's complicated. There's a lot of fighting over resources and things like that. It's really easy. You get better coverage if you split up. And you can kind of mine out resources in more than one area. It gives you a little bit better uh, chance to find what you're looking for. That's weird. Sound just changed. <laughs> oh. All right. Apparently I entered into a different area. It stopped. I had like a rushing water sound and now I have like a sound. But it's not something growling at me. Even uh, though that's what my sound sounds like. Okay. Shush. I'm not really <laughs> sure what to say to that. But um, oh yeah. That's me falling down a giant hole. I'm dead. <laughs> that happens sometimes, you guys. You do lose pixels in casual mode for for falling down holes. Yeah, we don't have a lot right now, but yeah, wait. it's not it's not too big a deal right at the beginning because you, you pretty much come into this <laughs> expecting to die a lot. You're just gonna. Um, there's no real way around it. I really want this stuff, but there's water in the way, and I can't suck up water yet. Yeah. 
It's got um, some silver, though. I do want to make a bed. Yay for silver. I need some fabric. What does the bed do? I don't remember. Um, you recover health, I think. And I'm kind of out of torches. This I'm I'm poor planning here. Hmm. Seriously. Uh, another thing that's nice is these these vines here. You want to knock those down because they contain plant fibers. Use can... use those to make bandages and cloth. Another little known secret as well is um, when you're in these little early stages underground, you can knock out the back wall. And a lot of times when it's daytime outside, you'll get light. And it'll save you some torches. There's no light here. Yeah, it's it's dark outside, so. Um, I think I'm going to go back up to the house. I'm digging straight down. Probably going to kill myself. Uh, probably. A uh, nice thing about having a hatch there is sometimes you get monsters and stuff that will climb up from down below. Um, and that gives you a little bit of protection to keep them from coming just directly into your house. It's always nice to put a little hatch or something on your, uh, on your mining space. There's a blinky mushroom. There's a mushroom blinking at me. I'm concerned. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why a mushroom would blink. I don't know. It's, it has eyes, and it's weird. Kind of <laughs> creeping me out. I'm considering <laughs> killing it. Is it violent or just... No, it's it's like non-violent, like almost like a decorational critter. Oh, But gotcha. it's, it's bugging me out a little bit. Go away, bird. <clears throat> hey, there are peppers over here. For a while, you had to come back to these low-level planets to get some things that you couldn't get on the higher-level planets, but I think yeah. they fixed that. I think, um... I think they made it to just where the amount of those items that you find on the higher level planets is higher than it was on the... I don't know. We'll see, I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> it was kind of annoying because like, you'd run out of basic items and you'd have to go to low level planets. To... Yeah, like you'd be like, oh, I'm out of iron. I have to go five planets down in difficulty to find a patch of iron that I can... Alright, I'm gonna make cut some of the trees I really hate down. these little guys. Have you run into any of the little stone guys that sit down and they pretend they're rocks, rocks, but they're not? Yeah, no, I, I've run into them before, but not not, not this time this yet. Game. I'm uh, up top cutting trees down, deforestation. Basically, they you hit them for a little while, and then they decide that they're a rock, and you can't hit them while they're a rock. And yeah, they they're annoying for them to not be a rock anymore. Alright, this mushroom's driving me insane. It's crazy. I need to make I'm just gonna kill him. I've murdered the mushroom. Uh, one of the other things is, nice things here is you get these little saplings from the trees and you can replant them. And it's really annoying because there's like 80 million types of them and, well, they don't stack. Um, so I'm gonna replant some trees down here. You can basically have like your own your own tree farm. Oh, hey, I found my first little underground structure. Hey, nice. More crates. Uh, tree farms are super useful. Um, you can get mass amounts of wood out of them. And you'll probably go through a fair bit of wood. Um, that one was... They grow quickly. Yeah, they grow really quickly. And you can place them pretty close together, too. So it's really easy to get pretty so good you can uh, put a tree every other block and then yeah you get pretty good yield out of them all right let me go in here i'm gonna make some torches i think as soon as i figure out which of the 18 crafting mint news it's in <laughs> let's make like i don't know 20 torches and also, if you get carried away and decide you want to make 37 sets of torches and then you realize that there's four in every set, like I just did, you can stop <laughs> yeah. in the middle. 
Yeah. Which is nice. Um, it like, can wow, get. I don't need like 500 torches. Yeah, it can get complicated pretty quick. Um, I did a batch once that I was like, I'll just do you know a couple of torches and it'll be fine. No, I did like 400 torches. <laughs> the sad thing is, you probably used them all before we were done playing that game. Yeah. Um, what did I do here? I screwed up my bar. Oh, I. Okay, I see what I did. Um, I put my torches in the wrong spot. Oops. I'm kind of OCD when it comes to my, my bar up here. Oh, I like everything in a proper place. Yeah, I found bones underground. That's weird. Hey, bones. You can make stuff out of bones. You can. There's also a lot of crafting recipes you can learn. Like, you find them laying around in chests. You can get them from... Whoa, there's a lot of things that are trying to kill me. Hold on. You can get them from kind of everywhere. Um, get them from, like, structures underground. and. Really need them. Don't be afraid to uh, run away, because... <laughs> usually pretty effective. Yeah. Right. See, okay. So there's that giant hole that I fell down earlier. I need some bandages. Gather up some of this copper. Well, I don't think I can make bandages yet. Uh, but I think we are running out of time. Uh, let me gather this a little bit here. <clears throat> I can make salve. Is that different than bandages? Yes, it's better, I think. Oh. Well, Maybe. then I'll make salve. Do it. Oh, no! Okay, now I'm not dead. <laughs> I was close to being dead, but I'm not dead. I fell down a hole. But I found some cobblestone, so that's important. <laughs> well, at least it was a useful hole to fall down. Yeah. Uh, anyway, guys, <laughs> we are out of time. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, leave a like down below. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave those as well. And as always, if you have not already, please, please, please hit that subscribe button. We'd appreciate it ever so much. Thanks for watching. Have a good night, day, whatever it happens to be for you. <laughs> we'll see you next time.